You have got to hear what Lynn Morgan just said about Becky Lynch. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what she had to say, because it really is shocking. It was shocking when I read it. I'm like, okay, well, we got to talk about this because look, Lynn Morgan, Becky Lynch, they have a ton of history. And at a time where there are multiple reports that Becky Lynch is slated to make her WWE return heading into Raw on Netflix's debut come January 6th. Well, things are interesting. Things are talking. Look, they have a history considering that it was Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch who feuded going into Mania this year before Becky Lynch ultimately put over Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania 40, despite the fact that she was in contract talks with the WWE and she opted to leave the company. Now, when Rhea went down with an injury, we all know that it was Becky Lynch who won the Women's World Championship. It was done for two folds. One, they were trying to get her to resign, but once they figured out, okay, she ain't coming back, they're like, okay, we have to create a new star, a la Liv Morgan, and we have Liv Morgan go over Becky Lynch. Not only do we have her beat her for the Women's World Championship at the King and Queen of the Ring PLE, we also have her beat her two nights later on Monday Night Raw inside of a steel cage. Now, with that being said, a lot of history. A lot of history, and there's a lot of debate on what you do with Becky Lynch when she returns to WWE. Do you have her go after the live? Do you have her go off and do a new storyline? Does she come as a babyface? Does she come back as a heel? A lot of questions, not a lot of answers. Here's what we do know. There is a very good chance that Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch are going to cross paths in 2025. There's too much history. And I'll, and I'll get into that more in a minute. But let's get into today's video because Liv Morgan, she recently spoke with Kenny McIntosh of Inside the Ropes. He does a fantastic job, by the way. And she was asked about Becky Lynch. And this is what she had to say. And I thought she was very, very honest to the point where, well, I wanted to talk about it. So let's get into it. She said, I think if Becky never comes back, I definitely think that she's 100% a Hall of Famer. She has become a martyr for women's wrestling and performance all around. She can do it all. She can deliver in the ring. She can deliver on the microphone. The crowd is compelled by her when she's out there, not to mention when she stands what she stands for in women's wrestling. Her goal, I think, was to evolve and maximize women's wrestling and really made wrestling feel as special and as important as the men's wrestling. And she did all that with being a fantastic brand new mom. But with all that being said, she's still not as great as me as she laughs. Now, let's take that back. The reason I wanted to talk about this was A, Liv Morgan in a public way, praising Becky Lynch, right? She wasn't a complete troll, which is a rarity of these days. She rarely breaks kayfabe in these interviews nowadays, so you have to really read between the lines of like, okay, that's character work, or that's what Liv Morgan actually thinks, believes, thinks, right? But when it comes to Becky Lynch and what Liv Morgan had to say, she's a thousand percent spot on. Becky Lynch is among the Charlotte Flair's, Mercedes Monet's, your Bailey's, your Soraya's, your Emma's, all of these talents, AJ Lee, Beth Phoenix, true pioneers, Trish Stratus, Lita, I'm, I'm just thinking of all the women that's come down the line, but like you get the gist. She's one of the pioneers. She broke the mold in terms of what WWE wanted from women's wrestling, right? We went from the freaking Divas era, which was god awful. They had two minutes to work. It was just eye candy BS. It's like, dude, we have the internet. Like, we don't need the stuff on TV. And uh, and so we go from that era to like, okay, the women, they're booked. They're booked just like the men. They do promos like the men. They work like the men. They can punch like the men. All this stuff, right? And Becky Lynch was a large part of that. And you can't deny the impact in which she's had. She also goes down in history as one of the participants in the very first ever women's WrestleMania main event, WrestleMania 35, 2019. Oh, how times have changed, right? She beats Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair in a three-way to win the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. When it comes to what she's been able to do in this business, she's a Hall of Famer. Like, I understand the Hall of Fame. Some people hold it in high regard. Others, they don't. They think it's a joke. They just think it's a marketing tool that WWE uses to sell additional tickets to SmackDown events. I get that. There's no physical Hall of Fame. But I think when it says, hey, we consider you to be a Hall of Famer, 
it's more of like you had an impact on the business. Somehow, some way, some big, some small, you had an impact. You left a mark. You weren't just a name, right? I think that's what that means to be a true bona fide Hall of Famer. Certainly, with the championships, with the feuds, with the maximizing, as she put it, women's wrestling, changing the game, changing how they're booked, presented, work, evolving it. Yeah, I I would agree. She's definitely a Hall of Famer. Now, here's a question. There's a lot of movement with Liv Morgan right now, right? She's in the middle of a feud with Rhea Ripley. She's still got to defend the Women's Championship against uh, Eo Sky, although I think that'll get done by the time that Becky Lynch returns. Do you go with that into Mania? Like, I I still hold on to this idea that, okay, you can do Liv Morgan Rhea Ripley before Mania. I don't think they have enough steam to, to make it last. But what if you had Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan as a non-title singles match, right? Because let's be real, Rhea Ripley, she's going to beat Liv Morgan for the Women's World title. She's going to get back that that gold. What do you do with Liv? Because she's had an unbelievable career, or at least an unbelievable 2024. You got you to gotta pair her up with someone big, a notable name to kind of keep that momentum going. And I think the equity in which she's built with the fan base as well as management, I think we're going to get that. But it's like, well, who do you do that with? And it's like, well, who do you have Becky Lynch work with coming back? That would make a lot of sense to me. I I like that match for WrestleMania 41 come Las Vegas in April. Lil Morgan, Becky Lynch, that's a marquee match. That's a big time match. And it fits perfectly because Liv's obviously a super duper heel and Becky Lynch is a super duper over baby face. It aligns very well, right? From a storyline perspective, a kayfabe perspective, needing something big. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of good stuff that they can get out of. And it's something in which I would like to see as well. Now, whether or not they do that, that remains to be seen, but I can see it happening. And I like that because you can have Becky Lynch go over live Maybe you do, you know, a best out of two out of three where, you know, Becky Lynch, maybe she falls in the first match, but then wins the last two. You got to give Liv a win because you don't want to like beat her like a drum. She's going to lose to Rhea Ripley. She's going to drop the championship. Then she don't put over Becky Lynch again. Like you need to build her up. But my whole thing with like booking, it's very simple. And I'm sure y'all have done this like fantasy book and stuff like that, but if you're going to beat someone in back-to-back feuds on pay-per-view or, or premium live events, have them win on television. Like, let them get over in that way. Let them continue to succeed in that way. And if that's the case, then you're you're good to go, right? But we'll see what they do. We'll see how they act. And uh, we'll see what they do going forward. Let me know in the comments there below. What do you think they should do with Becky Lynch going forward?